A special guest right now we want to catch up with. He has uh, been a friend of the program. We love the guy. I do. I mean, he's yeah. he's one of our one of our guys. And uh, life deals you some twists and turns, and he certainly had a huge one at the end of June. For those who don't know, because I want to look ahead with Patrick. Patrick Young, the former Florida Gator, so good at the University of Florida and Jacksonville zone, Paxson High School, Providence High School. One state championship at Providence in basketball uh, was involved in a, a terrible a one-person car accident. He was out in Nebraska. He was going out there to marry his now wife. He got in a car accident. Uh, a lot of physical uh, problems stemming from that car accident. And all I see when I talk to him and all I hear are positive things. Yeah, it's it's, it's amazing. Know, it, it's in, uh, Patrick. Thanks for being with us. And when when this first happened, you know, before you were communicating with anyone, when we were all just praying, unaware of what exactly it would play out, one of the first things that I thought, and I mean this as a tremendous compliment, mm-hmm. one of the first things I thought of, if there's a person that can handle this with the positivity needed to get through this tough situation, I I can't think of anyone I would put in that that, that I would think that more strongly of than you. It's really one of the first things that I thought. Mm-hmm. So, well, what I what I've learned, um, and what the, I think I can't remember if it was my nurse doctor or who, whomever at the time they said, usually what happens is a person when they're faced with a crisis or, or trauma, depending on what type of person they were before, if they were positive or negative, those things get magnified. And if you're a negative person and you're faced with a a horrendous type thing that's happened to me. Uh, don't be surprised that person may be dwelling in the pit versus not that, and not that I haven't been there. Sure. Uh, so I am more of a positive guy. I've just been more on the, the higher side than the, than the darker side. Cause there's still so much to be grateful for in my life. So much to be, to, to count my blessings. I still haven't stopped counting my blessings, especially being friends of, of both of you guys. Uh, that's a, Tremendous blessing in my life. Every time I get a chance to connect, you guys are brought nothing but good, good things to my life. So I'm just grateful to be here, grateful to be here with my wife and daughter, and uh, excited for what the future lies ahead. And we are too, and we want to ask you a few questions about the future and about going forward and everything that, that you've been through, but uh, certainly, certainly a test. But I know one of the things that you have harped on and just, you know, reading you on Twitter and, and, and texting with you back and forth is family. And I know your family has been there for you. I know your mom and dad have been out there with you. You rehabbed, you were rehabbing it at a, at a hospital in Denver or a, a facility in Denver. And now you're back home in Jacksonville continuing your, your outpatient rehab. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. I'll, I'll be, uh, right now I'm going to UFL, mm-hmm. um, up until Monday and then Tuesday I started Brooks. Uh, which has been neuro recovery and just need to give great, great credit to my mother. I'm so grateful for my mother Mm -hmm. with her background in nursing. Um, She was a tremendous help and blessing for me during this whole time, as well as my wife, uh, my dad and sister, um, Mm -hmm. Jody Pfizer, my physical therapist. Everyone has just been so tremendous Um, coming out there, spending great amounts of time with me. My mom, fortunately, my mom and dad are retired. So, I worked out that my mom spent a lot of good time out there with me and it just helped me to stay mentally strong and emotionally just pure, I would say, just where I could be myself when I was having my days. Uh, but also she was there to pick me up because uh, it's it's very vulnerable when you have a spinal cord injury that you no longer can control so many parts of your body. And you, you whether you, you've been a person that's asked for help in the past a lot or not, mm-hmm. you need you have to ask for help um, and it just puts you in a position. It just makes you a little bit more comfortable when that help comes from a familiar face being that. So of my mother and wife, so uh, it helped. It, it, it was, it wasn't too bad being up there in Denver. I just, I got a little stir crazy at the end because, you know, a person can only be in a hospital for so long. I, I'm, I wonder how much being an athlete and not just an athlete, but a high performing athlete, especially if you're a positive person, like you said. I wonder how much that athletic background helps you. I mean, we're taught in sports, man, one play at a time, right? When it, you right. Can, you're not going to win the game on a 40-foot jumper. You just one play, one minute, and I would assume that you have to attack your rehab with kind of a similar, you know, it's easy to think, what's it going to be like in a year? But I would imagine yeah. you have to kind of hyper-focus on what's going to be like for the next 30 minutes. Yeah. No, Jeff, that's a great question. I'm really glad you asked that because, 
Uh, I, I don't know at Craig Hospital how many athletes have come through there in the time they existed. It started in 1907. It was actually a tuberculosis uh, hospital to start with. And as the years progressed, it went on to spinal cord and, and neuro injuries. But uh, with my approach from day one, I told my physical therapist I wanted to be pushed, that I had no intention of staying there for three months. I, I was there for a little bit over a month. And standard time for a person that comes in is two to three months. And I think I, I truly believe my athlete mindset of just how can I get better today? What do I need to do? I, you know, they had me on a schedule one week. It was from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. My only break was lunch. And that lunch break, I just wanted no one to be in my room so I could just mentally stay focused on the therapy or whatever was coming up next because I knew – I knew I wanted to get back to normal life as fast as possible, but also have that independence where I could trust myself. Uh, so having having what I've been through in the past with Coach Donovan, with our professional team, mm-hmm. Coach Martin here in, in Jacksonville, that all that stuff pay, paved the way and, and just helped. Uh, I guess you would say harden my mind, callous my mind toward it. Doesn't matter how hard the task is ahead. What can I control and what can I do today? We're visiting with Patrick Young, uh, former Florida Gator. Uh, Patrick, I read your a wonderful article by uh, our friend Eugene Fournette. Did a, a, a terrific job. And and one thing I know that every every spinal cord injury is different. So nobody knows what it what what happens going forward. And I know you're attacking this rehabilitation process with the goal of getting out of that wheelchair. Um, can you bring us up to date on on where you are and 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 you know. Uh, like we watched Ryan Shazier as a guy that we all think about and, and, and what happened with him. And, and certainly that I'm sure gives you some, some hope. And I'm wondering if you've been able to, I think I read somewhere that you were able to talk to him or is that incorrect? No, that's correct. Yeah. And, and, and shout out to, uh, you did a fantastic mm-hmm. job and, mm-hmm. uh, wanted to get all the details. Him and I were texting back and forth so many times to mm-hmm. uh, make sure he, he wanted to represent the story with, uh, right truth in which to everything that happened uh, and how it happened and uh, the reflections of my family, Coach Donovan, and Coach Martin, that were able to chime in as well. But, um, yeah, I did get an opportunity to talk to Ryan Shazier. He and I played phone tag for about two or three weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he had nothing but encouraging words. You know, his mindset was different, as I said in the article, because his focus was getting back to football. And it's like, I already retired. I already hung right. up with right. the basketball shoes. I just talk about basketball now. Like, that's that's my deal. But I, I think about, you know, with my having my daughter, I want to I want to coach her. I want to sure. run. I want to play with her when we have kids in the future. So that's what motivates me. Um, you know, regardless of what is to come, I, I just know, like what I said on Paul Feinbaum's show, mm-hmm. there's nothing that has happened to me that's going to make me be less of a husband, less of a – less of a, a – a father, less of a friend, less of a son, I can still be fully all of those things. And it's just a matter of my mindset, how I'm going to show up, whether I'm in this chair or not. But my full determination, as I've already shown, is to be walking again. And I'm going to do everything in my power uh, to make that happen. We're visiting with Patrick Young on the Fair Fair phone line. Patrick, you also uh, have said, look, you fully and in, 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 in you'll be back with the SEC Network. Uh, working when college basketball season rolls around, right? Oh yeah, we're ready to rock it. Um, mm-hmm. got, it was talk, got a call with my boss later today. We're planning some. I, I, he, he's got some plans for me uh, here this upcoming season. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I fully, I just, I just feel as though it, it you know, I, I'm not hiding or running from anything, right? Um, I'm not in a position where I'm afraid or looking for pity or trying mm-hmm. to hide. So. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show up, and, and I I want to challenge other people that there's there's going to be times where you're uncomfortable. I mean, in the media, you know, they, they, what one of the first things I learned was like when you write that article or whatever it may be, you show up to work the next day regardless of what you said and put out. Right. Truth or not, hopefully it's the truth. But you know, I I come up and I'm going to show up. I love what I do. I love being part of that team with SEC Network, and I still hope to do it for a really long time. 
I have just one a quick question then to distract you and start thinking basketball rather than <laughs> a rehab. And what you know, what do you think of the Florida new coach uh, Todd Golden and of the Gators? Chance? I, I look at bracketology. I'm stupid that way. It's never too early. <laughs> I, I see them, you know, pretty much projected as a tournament team. I, they had some good personnel things I thought go their way. Getting Castleton and Reeves back was was huge for him, I think. And just your overall impression of of Florida's coach and of their season they've got coming up. Well, well, my man Captain, he I don't know if he was wasn't going to come back if they didn't offer him that six figure bag, <laughs> whatever, whatever that number was. I have no idea, but uh, I'm I'm excited to see him back in in a Florida uniform. He he wears it so well and he plays with such great passion. But Coach Golden from day one, uh, when I got a chance to meet him, he's been fantastic. I love that he's got that just youthly appeal to him, um, but he also knows the game so well. His analytics are I, you know, I almost wish to a, to an extent that Coach Donovan could have took some pointers from him from uh, <laughs> you know, let, let the guy play with two fouls. <laughs> you know, I would have played a lot, a lot more minutes. <laughs> uh, the other way around. Well, you know uh... – uh, Pat, we wish you the absolute best. You know, they say athletes aren't role models. Well, then they, they haven't met you, my friend. That's correct. So keep up your good work. And, Patrick, and, has the university re- – have you been in touch with them at all? The, I want to make sure our alma mater is 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 taking care of you as well. Yeah, they, they've been in touch. They're, they're whatever I need. They're, they're helping, helping out. And hopefully uh, we're going to have a golf tournament or some type of event. Uh, coming up here uh, in the fall. Well, whatever you need, you let us know, man. We're uh, – you know, we love you, and we're... Uh, if you get bored and you want to talk, you have us call any morning. Yeah, that's How about right. that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, 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 uh, you hang in there, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stay in touch, and, and uh, we're proud of you, Good man. Good to hear from you. Thank keep you keep the faith, Patrick. Keep the faith. Thank you, guys. All right. Yeah,